This is a very good question and there are two answers depending on whether we ask what do individual mathematicians think are important mathematical problems to work on versus what does the entire mathematical community think are important problems to work on? If you ask me or if you ask a mathematician, then you will have as many answers as there are mathematicians. Because the beauty of mathematics, and I suspect uh, this happens in all the sciences also, is that we work on those problems that we find interesting. And that is a very subjective to each person, depending on your taste whether you like algebra, number theory, analysis, probability, and even within those areas, what kind of problems you are interested in. And those problems that mathematicians, individual mathematicians work on, are those that subjectively we think are the most interesting and the most important to us because we really want to find a solution to that problem, to see it resolved, to understand how it works and why something happens that we have sort of explored and then we have a conjecture of. Now, of course, what I find interesting and important, it is informed by what the mathematical community finds interesting and important because I have been taught this way. I have uh, had professors, I've gone to conferences, and I hear people talk about certain problems. So, of course, my own opinion is informed by what others think. And also, of course, I have to publish results at some point. And if my results and my research area is completely out there and bizarre, then referees and journal editors might not find that my topic is sufficiently interesting to be published and uh, reputable journals. So how does the mathematical community come up with problems that are important or interesting? Some problems are famous just because some famous mathematician proposed that problem, although usually those problems are key in the area anyways, uh, such as the Poincaré conjecture. Some problems are important because we know that many other problems depend on that one, such as the Riemann hypothesis or the ABC conjecture in number theory. Some problems are important because they form bridges between areas of mathematics, such as the Hilbert's 10th problem. Speaking of Hilbert, David Hilbert was a very influential mathematician who, in the year 1900, he compiled 23 problems that he thought were very important and they would be fundamental in the next 100 years of mathematics. And of course, well, this list became very famous, so many people consider these very important because, well, Hilbert picked them very carefully, and they are very important in each of the disciplines. So uh, many people have worked on these and have motivated a lot of progress in those areas through those problems. How did Hilbert pick these problems? Well, uh, you can actually read the speech he gave when he presented these problems, and on one hand, he says there are, these are merely examples of problems. But on the other hand, he notes that these are big goals in each one of the areas because of the consequences those problems would have because of the new goals uh, they might aspire mathematicians to achieve and also the new techniques that might come from solving those particular problems. And more recently, the Clay Math Institute in the year 2000 named what we call the Millennium Prize problems, which were again chosen because of the importance of those problems and the consequences that they could have if they were solved and the techniques that they would have to be developed to solve those problems would have ramifications and consequences in those areas in, and in all of mathematics as a whole.